it going fellas how we doing all right so today's video is not really an automobile related but i thought i should share it with you guys uh these uh spray cans you know i've thrown these away more than i can remember so today i'm going to show you how we can refill them recycle them and reuse them it's a pretty cool process actually uh this technique can be applied to any of these bottles you know it doesn't matter whether it's a hit spray paint spray your wd-40 cans car cleaner joke cleaners chain loops anyone you like and the best part about this technique is uh, you can refill them with anything you like you know uh, water kerosene oil diesel petroleum acetone oils pesticides anything you like so uh, all you need is uh, this uh, tire tube nozzle you can get it at any uh, tire repair shop or a puncture repair shop for practically free of cost you know uh, you're gonna just uh, we're gonna chop off this uh, rear end we're not gonna need it though and we're gonna gas weld it we're gonna drill a 7.2 mm hole in this uh, hit spray can and we're gonna gas weld it uh, this hit spray and rustly cans have practically gone empty i'm gonna repeat the process uh, you can see it was a wd-40 can and uh, i've turned it into a throttle body cleaner i've loaded acetone inside and uh, put uh, 70 pound of pressure inside you can see it's working great so uh, i'm gonna show you how you can repeat the process with these two cans you know uh, it's pretty cool actually all we're going to do is uh, drill a 7.2 mm hole and we're gonna gas weld it but uh, before you're about to uh, perform a gas welding make sure to drain out all the previous ingredients they might be explosive or uh, you know uh, uh, i don't, don't ask me how i know it so you're gonna refill them with water and then we're gonna perform the gas welding all right so enough of chat chat let's get it started see this gentleman did a fine job gas welding these uh, bulbs over here so we're gonna try to uh, pour some liquid inside we're gonna start with the petroleum now this is loose petroleum filled with the acetone and we're gonna try to refill this uh, rustly can with the uh, you know you're gonna need one of these needles it's a 60 ml needle and uh, you're gonna need one of these because now that uh, this is the only way in and out you know this is the way that uh, the liquid is gonna go in and the air inside this bottle is gonna come out so you're gonna need one of these and uh, you know we're gonna put this uh, valve later on after refilling this so this is a 60 ml needle and we're gonna try to refill this let's get started So we poured 360 ml inside this bottle, this is a 370 ml, so uh, 6 times uh, this is a 60 ml syringe and uh, we poured uh, 6 times and uh, we've got 360 ml of petroleum inside and now we're gonna put this valve on, we're gonna tighten it up, 
real nice and here we go now all we have to do is uh, pressurize this bottle now this bottle can take up to 70 psi you know uh, don't try to overload it or it's going to explode you know this welding is gonna come off so uh, we're gonna use hand pump so for filling the air you're always gonna use this hand pump because uh, you know uh, once the bottle about to reach this uh, peak pressure you know you're gonna feel this uh, force upon this hand pump uh, never ever use those uh, bicycle or uh, you know uh, preloaded compressor pumps uh, to fill the pressure inside this uh, cans so we're gonna use this hand pump it's really simple actually now all you've got to do is uh, mount this uh, tap on this valve and you're gonna hand pump it all right so uh, you know, uh, to be on the safe side, uh, you're gonna start to feel pressure. One, two, three, four. On the fifth, you see, I'm feeling quite pressure, you know. I'm trying to pump any more air and it's not going down. You can see it's rebounding back. That means uh, your can has reached this peak pressure. You know, that's all it can take. Now, I'm gonna release the ball. And I'm gonna show you the pressure. You see, I've got uh, this uh, pressure gauge, and uh, we're gonna try to see how much pressure uh, this can is taking right now. You see, that's uh, 80 psi. Let me just uh, focus on it, and you can see. Uh, now, to keep it on the safe side, uh, I've overloaded it. You might want to keep it only up to 70 psi. Uh, let me check again. You see, that's. Uh, no, that's that was the wrong reading. Let me check again. That's 90 psi actually. Oh man, we overloaded it. So anyway, uh, uh, there's supposed to be a small rubber over here, and uh, we've removed it. And uh, we're gonna try to. Uh, I've got this old sprocket over here. I'm gonna try to clean this using this uh, uh, petroleum and acetone mixture. You see that there's, we've got a lot of. Uh, grease and uh, dirt over here so i'm gonna try you can see now it's working great now now you can see all the dirt has come off and uh, you see it's clean now and it's pretty good now uh, let me just show you the pressure it's working great now uh, the acetone and petroleum is inside and uh, you can refill anything if you like uh, except for water I've tried water and you know uh, it kind of forms the rust inside and uh, you don't want any rust you know because the compressed air uh, really uh, it reacts with air really fast so uh, except for water you can put anything inside you know uh, free fuel to load it up to uh, 90 psi actually it's great actually and uh, you know don't worry uh, compressed petrol you know it gonna, it's going to take at least 130 psi for this petroleum to ignite you know even a low grade uh, kerosene oil you know it's going to ignite at 120 you know before you're about to hit 120 your bottle itself is going to explode so uh, you know let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this method you see it's, it's working great now i've turned it into actually a chain cleaner you know because uh, in the hard uh, past time uh, we had a hard time cleaning the chain you know so it's great it's working great now and uh, I'm gonna try to put this uh, petroleum inside this bottle you know this can spray uh, back inside this bottle I'm gonna show you how much uh, longer it can uh, go on and uh, let me just focus on uh, real quick and uh, let's see here we go Pretty great actually uh, now this bottle is emptied out you can see there's uh, none left inside 
so if there's any you know if you're uh, like uh, spraying in this uh, form or uh, in this uh, form so you can refill it and uh, drain out the all uh, uh, previous ingredients and uh, you can see it's pretty much gone empty so let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this method and uh, this was actually old sprocket you know it was a uh, 15 tooth sprocket i've chopped off the inner ring and put a 14 tooth uh, ring outer ring and uh, welded it for my ktm rc390 so anyway uh this is how you turn your uh, spray can into a reusable can all right so i guess uh, thank you for watching this video guys goodbye